So I want to check in on the Senate race that's currently taking place in the state of Pennsylvania. It is very fascinating on both sides. So on the GOP side, predictably, you have essentially what is a circus. It features Dr. Oz, which is entertaining in and of itself because he's a clown. But essentially, that GOP primary has devolved into a debate about brotherism. And Dr. Oz has pledged to renounce his Turkish citizenship in the event he wins the primary. And I guess he's a little bit disappointed and surprised that it's come to this which is weird because it's the gop and this is what they do so i don't get why you expect it any different but it's fascinating now on the democratic party side you actually have some really interesting figures and when i say figures i mean there's one person that's interesting to me uh john fetterman he's the lieutenant governor and he's the more progressive candidate he's not a bernie sanders per se but he actually has a message that's resonating with people he's less rehearsed as a politician he's more unorthodox he has tattoos and a personality and he's currently blowing his competition out of the water so he's running against connor lamb who's a a corporate Democrat who once used to be a really vocal, radical centrist who basically boasted about how moderate he was. And by moderate, I mean right wing. Except he has since had to distance himself from Joe Manchin after trying to be compared to Joe Manchin because Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema single-handedly have tarnished the corporate Democrat brand after obstructing Biden's entire presidency. So Connor Lamb is now left with nothing to brag about. And now he's getting desperate. So in this desperation, he's choosing to go on a kamikaze mission that will inevitably help the GOP. I think his thinking here is that if I can't win, if I'm going to lose, then I at least want the next best person to win. And it's not the Democrat. It's the Republican because we're talking about Connor Lamb here. So he's a right winger. So if he sees that John Fetterman is poised to win, he's going to do what he can to help the Republican. But simultaneously, as he does their bidding, he's going to deny that he has any involvement because it's his super PAC that's doing these attacks. Not him. Wink, wink. Definitely not coordinating with them. Wink, wink. So um, there's an article about this by Holly Otterbein of Politico, and it is fascinating. She breaks it down. Let's get to that. She writes, a super PAC backing Pennsylvania Senate candidate Connor Lamb is warning prospective donors that he is trailing frontrunner John Fetterman by 30 percentage points in the Democratic primary, and that the public's perception of his opponent's ideology must change for Lamb to have a shot. Primary voters don't see Fetterman as the liberal he is, reads a memo circulated by the pro-Lamb group Penn Progress, which was obtained by Politico. For Connor Lamb to have a path in the primary, this dynamic needs to change. The document highlights the testing of aggressive negative messaging against Fetterman, who is Pennsylvania's lieutenant governor, including that he is a dangerous radical who proudly calls himself a socialist, supports far-left policies like a $34 trillion government takeover of healthcare, and has spoken at the Defund the Police rallies and wants to release convicted felons back onto our streets. The Fetterman campaign sought to blame any coming onslaught on the Democratic side on Lamb himself rather than an independent super PAC. Connor hasn't been able to get in ground with Democrats, so he's decided to run like a Republican and use Fox News talking points to attack a fellow Democrat, said Fetterman spokesperson Joe Calvello. This is a desperate move from a campaign that hasn't been able to raise the money on its own and hasn't broken through with anyone except for some political insiders. So I love that response from the Fetterman campaign. That's exactly what they should be saying. Uh, you know, conflate him with Fox News, uh, talk about how he's only winning support from insiders, basically the donors of the Democratic Party. And yeah, hit back. Don't just expect these attacks to kind of fall short. I think that a lot of times Democrats, they will just expect to absorb the blows by their opponents and not respond. But no, you need to forcefully push back against these smear attacks because this is what this is. This is a smear campaign. Now, um, there's a couple of things to say about this. First and foremost, it's disingenuous at best, but outright lies at worst. So when it comes to whether or not John Fetterman is a socialist, I wish but he's not. He's never said that he's a socialist. He's a social democrat. So, you know, this is the whole far left bad attack that we're seeing, albeit from a democrat, Connor Lamb. And he's barely a democrat. He's a democrat in name only. He's a mansion democrat. So he's basically a republican for all intents and, all intents and purposes. Now, he talks about the $34 million government takeover of healthcare. He's referring to Medicare for all because John Fetterman endorsed Bernie Sanders back in 2016. Now, I don't know if John Fetterman is the most vocal advocate for Medicare for all, but we need people in the Senate who support Medicare for all because Medicare for all is good. It's not a radical far left policy if every other developed country 
has healthcare that is free at the point of service. Do you think that the conservatives in Canada or the Tories in UK would call their healthcare system far left? No, they wouldn't get elected if they attacked it. But yet you have a Democrat calling healthcare far left in the United States. What a fucking moron. It tells you everything that you need to know. He also couldn't say that John Fetterman supports defunding the police and he wants to tie him to that slogan, which is politically unpopular. Uh, so since he couldn't say that because there's no evidence of that, he, uh, I guess, speaks to John Fetterman talking at Black Lives Matter rallies and just says, oh, well, since there are some signs there that say defund the police, he supports defunding the police. And he spoke at defund the police rallies. You mean Black Lives Matter rallies? I mean, you couldn't just say, oh, well, he spoke at Black Lives Matter rallies because if you don't believe that Black Lives Matter, then I don't think you're fit to run for any office as a Republican or a Democrat because, of course, Black Lives Matter. So what does he do? He does this racist dog whistle and GOP smear campaign to just say, oh, well, he supports defund the police. Oh, and he also wants to release convicted felons uh, and put them back onto our streets. Some tough on crime fear-mongering that we see from the 90s. Connor Lamb is a Republican. I don't get why he's running as a Democrat. Just run as a Republican. Now, I think that a lot of people, they see this and they think, wait a second, this strategy seems kind of contradictory because on one hand, he knows that you can't just outright run as a corporate Democrat anymore because that brand is toxic. Hence why Connor Lamb distanced himself from Joe Manchin. But at the same time, he's trying to bring up this far left attack because he thinks that being far left is bad when what John Fetterman is saying is clearly resonating with the people. So if being a moderate and far left is bad, then what, ideo uh, what ideology is good? And it's not about ideology. I think that Connor Lamb knows he's going to lose. If you're 30 points behind, it's going to take a miracle to make that up. I mean, it's possible, right? But it's going to be very difficult. So here's what I think he's obviously doing. This is a kamikaze mission. He knows that this attack is going to hurt his campaign because people are going to see this as very disingenuous, especially Democratic Party primary voters in Pennsylvania. But he's trying to help the person who, in his mind, is the next best person. If he can't win, then he'd rather have a Republican than somebody who might be a leftist like John Fetterman. And that really is gross. And again, this is speculation, but I think that his motivations here are pretty clear. What he's doing here, I mean, imagine if a Democrat was running in a primary who was progressive and they tried to do a Republican smear campaign against their opponent. The Democratic Party establishment would come out and denounce that and say, you're trying to help the Republican. But here he is using talking points straight from Fox News and the GOP against the front runner. So what else is he trying to do? I mean, it's not that big of a stretch to think that he wants the Republican to win when ideologically him and a Republican are pretty similar anyway. So, yeah. Now, uh, the response from Connor Lamb's campaign is hilarious because they're basically um, pretending to be outraged that uh, Fetterman's campaign would dare accuse them directly of launching this attack because it's not them. It's the super PAC, obviously. They would have nothing to do with this horrible smear campaign. Quote, Abby Nassif Murphy, Lamb's campaign manager, shot back. This material did not come from our campaign, but the fact that John Fetterman thinks only Fox News Republicans oppose socialism, defunding the police, and banning all private health insurance shows how out of touch he is with reality and why the Republicans are dying to run against him in the fall. So I love that. Oh, we definitely didn't uh, say this. We had nothing to do with this, but here's all the same talking points again. Well, if you had nothing to do with this and you're not coordinating with that super PAC that started the smear campaign, why are you saying the same thing as them? Seems a little bit suspicious, right? Maybe you're breaking the law. Maybe you are coordinating if you're just parroting what they're saying. And I love how the name of this super PAC is Pen Progress when this is basically a right-wing super PAC. It's so Orwellian. It's so Orwellian. Um, it just is so disingenuous. I hate it. Uh, but... Yeah, this is this is really interesting. Um, it's a desperate attempt. And one thing that I've learned when it comes to attack campaigns is that usually candidates are very reluctant to do attack campaigns against their opponents because that brings them down. And they only resort to attack campaigns if they're desperate because it might bring down them in the thinking of voters, but it also sometimes brings down their opponent. This is based on political science studies. So it's a little bit dated. Maybe that's changed over the years. But, um, you know, it's a desperate attempt I don't know that it's going to work. I hope that it doesn't. 
But Connor Lamb, I, I genuinely don't understand why he'd run as a Democrat when he's functionally a Republican. Just run as a Republican and you can be yourself. Why fake it? I, I mean, I just, I don't get it. Maybe he's not as crazy as Republicans, but when it comes to the economy, you are in lockstep with them. So why pretend? Just be a fucking Republican. I, I don't get it. But um, yeah, really interesting here. Definitely um, <sighs> hypocritical, right? Because again, if the Democratic Party establishment saw a progressive using GOP talking points against the corporate Democrat, they would come out and denounce it and say, hey, you're helping the Republicans. But here, Connor Lamb does just that. And the establishment, we hear nothing from them. Crickets. Is the DNC going to denounce I mean, what what's going on here? I mean, I, I get they're supposed to be neutral, but we all know that they're, they're not neutral. Is Nancy Pelosi or Chuck Schumer going to denounce these attacks? I mean, of course not. Because, you know, what is acceptable for corporate Democrats is never acceptable for progressives. So this is interesting. I'm rooting for John Fetterman. Uh, I don't think that he is, you know, as progressive as Bernie Sanders. But, you know, I think that he's a good candidate. And out of everyone, I'm rooting for him the most he has the best shot at winning and he's pretty progressive i think that he would bring some necessary change so i hope that he wins but i mean this smear campaign by connor lamb it's desperate and pathetic but absolutely predictable for a republican democrat like connor lamb i'm gonna come, 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 come. do not come 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 come, come. Come, 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 come.